The objective for today's video is to identify stereoisomerism in alkenes. The outcomes I want you to take away are know the definition of stereoisomers and understand when stereoisomerism occurs. Also, I want you to have the ability to identify ENZ isomers on a given structure and also to be able to draw ENZ isomers from the name of a compound in both skeletal and displayed form. First of all, let's consider these 1,2-dichloroethanes. Are these two compounds the same? What is your reasoning? Pause the video to formulate your answer. When you have your answer, start the video again. The answer is that both of these molecules are identical. They are the same. Why is that? The reason is because there is free rotation around the carbon-carbon single bond. So you could imagine that if you were to rotate uh, this carbon so that the fluorine came out towards you and then back into the plane of the paper, the chlorines and the hydrogens would look identical to this molecule here. This is really where having your own little model kit would really benefit. Okay, now let's consider these 1,2-dichloroethenes. Okay, so we know, name's no ethene because we've got a carbon-carbon double bond in each of these. Are these two compounds the same? Again, once you've got a reason, uh, restart the video. If you've been able to build a model, or maybe you know already, uh, there is no free rotation around a carbon carbon double bond. Okay. So then the answer is that these compounds are not the same. You cannot merely twist around these bonds to align, to align the molecules that the chlorine atoms are on the same side. These molecules are known as stereoisomers. If we consider these 1,1-dichloroethenes, okay, so now the chlorine atoms are each on carbon number one, are these compounds the same? When you've got an answer and a reason, we start the video. In fact, these two compounds are the same. Okay, why are they the same? If you imagine taking the left-hand compound and rotating it 180 degrees so the chlorines come to this side, then you could superimpose one on top of the other. By superimpose we mean if you lie one on top of the other structure, do you only see one? Okay. So in this case, these two compounds are not stereoisomers isomers. Okay, so now we have seen that some alkenes give rise to uh, stereoisomers but some do not. So it's important now that we define what stereoisomers are. Okay. Stereoisomers are molecules with the same structural formula but with a different arrangement of atoms in space. Now remember that structural isomers are molecules with the same molecular formula, but they have a different structural formula. Think of uh, 2-methylpropane and butane. Okay? So what we're saying is that the structural formula, and it's given here for these two, com for these two molecules, is CHCl, CHCl, for this carbon, it's got a hydrogen and a chlorine attached. Uh, this carb's got a hydrogen and chlorine attached. The same on the right hand molecule. Okay, so they have exactly the same structural formula, but the arrangement in of the atoms in space is completely different. And so if you were to move this left hand compound and superimpose it over this compound on the right, 
you would see that the chlorine atoms on, on this carbon would not match up. So, we've got our definition. What, how can we create stereoisomers? Okay. There needs to be two factors involved. One needs to be a restricted rotation around the carbon-carbon double bond and there needs to be different groups on each carbon of the double bond. Okay, so here you can see that there are on this carbon atom there is a chlorine and a hydrogen. On this carbon here there is also a hydrogen and a chlorine. Similarly here this carbon, a hydrogen and a chlorine, and a hydrogen and a chlorine here. If we just skip back a couple of slides, what we can see here is that this carbon has got two hydrogens. Okay. And the other important thing is that the restricted rotation around this carbon carbon double bond. So, why do 1,2-dichloroethanes and 1,1-dichloroethenes not exhibit stereoisomerism? Have a think about it, write down an answer, and then uh, unpause the video. So, if we look at the 1,2-dichloroethanes first, what we said was that they have free rotation around the carbon-carbon single bond and so that we could twist this carbon around around this bond so that this chlorine atom would end up at the top of the diagram just like this and what I just alluded to a moment ago was 1,1-dichloroethenes uh, do not exhibit stereoisomerism because each carbon or in this case, sorry, this carbon has the same group on it. Also, this carbon has the same group uh, on it. In this case, chlorine, it's a hydrogen. Now we're going to find out how to name our stereoisomers. We use the prefixes E and Z to distinguish between the isomers. E uh, both of these uh, are derived from the German. Uh, e is derived from the German for entgegen, which means uh, opposites. Z derives from the German, and uh, excuse my pronunciation, zusammen, uh, which means uh, together. So here we've highlighted the hydrogens in blue the E isomer and you can see that these are on opposite sides of the alkene uh, or as a former student once told me they are E for enemies as they're on the opposite sides and on the right hand side we've got the Z isomer and you can see that the pink hydrogens are now together or uh, as it was as I read once in a textbook that the hydrogens are on the same side. So, now your turn. Look at these two butte twoings and can you assign both the displayed and the skeletal structures as being either the E isomer or the Z isomer. Pause the video and then play back when you're ready. So hopefully you will have got the same assignments as I have that the structures on the left hand side are both the E isomers. You looking at the hydrogens you can see that they are both enemies on opposite sides of the alkene whereas here uh, the hydrogens are together 
are on the same side. Okay. The, it's a little more tricky with the skeletal formulae because you can't see where the hydrogens are, uh, but obviously their absence uh, does indicate that. Finally, can you draw um, the isomers of E pent to E and Z pent to E in both skeletal and displayed form? Pause the video and then play back when you are ready. And hopefully you will have got uh, structures that uh, look very similar to what I have here. Okay, so that brings to a close uh, this little video on stereoisomers. Thank you for watching.